Well, you guys, Halloween is right around the corner, and there's bound to be a lot of extra candy from trick-or-treating or other festivities. But how can we get the most out of all of this candy and the leftovers? Well, Shailene Gerzik, a registered dietitian with the Henry Ford Health Systems, is here to give us some creative ideas. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. First, you say that Halloween is one day a year. We should let the kids be kids and have mm -hmm. fun, but keep it balanced. Yes, of all course. Right. All right, so let's get to your ideas and what to do with the leftovers. The first thing you say is to freeze it? Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the things we can do is freeze it, which we have our example over here. So super simple to do, freeze it, put it in there, take it out whenever you're ready, and then you can add it to things like cookies, cakes, muffins, pancakes, anything like that. Right, and spread it out through the year. Mm -hmm. Spread it out through the year. And then you also say decorating with it is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, so as you can see here, we have a gift box where you can use candies, you can use the leftover wrappers just to make creative things like bows. You could also use it for stuffing candy um, and gift bags for maybe something like a bridal or a baby shower. I like that. Mm -hmm. okay, so and it's super cute. It's cute. It doesn't have to go, to, that candy doesn't have to go to waste and it doesn't have to go to your waistline either. I like that. <laughs> Not to your waist or your waistline, but let's talk about for things giving in Christmas too. Mm -hmm. So you can always repurpose it. Things like you could make a gingerbread house or an advent calendar. Um, you can repurpose it for something like a cookie exchange uh, or as a gift. So uh, Okay, so let's get into like infusing certain drinks. Maybe mm -hmm. tea, maybe vodka. <laughs> Because like everything in moderation. Right? <laughs> but so. yes, you could infuse things like Skittles or mints, something like that, and vodka or tea. You could also melt chocolates into coffee or a hot chocolate. And like I said, of course, we got the oranges there too. Orange pairs very well with chocolate. I love so. it. It does. It doesn't. What do we have going on here? An idea to. Yes, so using our first example where you could freeze or repurpose some of that candy, one of the other things you could make easily at home is a do it yourself trail mix. All right. So, like I said, may we I? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Tell me when to stop. That's good. I said we got <laughs> Skittles, we got banana chips, so we're getting some fruit in there. Mm -hmm. We have almonds, so we're getting some protein or healthier fats. And then we have coconut. You could also toast that in the oven beforehand if you wanted, or just leave it as is. Mm -hmm. Give it a stir. Give it a nice mix. Then, then you got a snack with a nice little sweet treat. You also could have done chocolate, maybe for like a chunky monkey type thing. I like that. I like the coconut idea. This is super sweet. Mm -hmm. and put them in little baggies, take them to work for your snack. Absolutely. And it's a great way to do portion control that way too. Same thing with leftover Halloween candy. If you want to divide it into things like that you, your likes, your sort of likes and your dislike pile, that dislike pile, you can either freeze it, donate it, out of sight, out of mind. Those other ones you can, like I said, divvy up into little sandwich bags. That way you're having that portion control. Right, right. It doesn't go to waste and it doesn't go to your waste. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you Absolutely. for the great ideas and thank you for bringing me the Snickers because yeah, yes. I knew I like those. <laughs> <laughs> All right.